Hello everyone and today I'll be showing you guys how I edited my clothes simulation in tools. Um, the software I'm using is Blender and the software I use for this simulation is Marvelous Designer. So this is the character I've been working on for quite some time and the full video is on my channel. So please do well to check it out and support me. So I'll be showing you guys a quick view of the animation and here is the simulation. Um, so the next step we're going to make is by exporting out the animation. So um, usually you export it as an alembic file but for this case we're going to be exporting it as either an MDD file or a PC2 file. Um, this is because alembic file doesn't really allow it's not editable but with this you can actually edit it in blender um and also have this in mind that whenever you're exporting an mdd file or a pc file it also exports an obj file which is necessary but in this video i exported the obj file first then went back into Bl um, marvelous designer and exported the MDD file. So heading to Blender, I'm going to scale down the mesh to fit my character. So like I said, um, I exported the OBJ and the MDD file separately. So this is me exporting the MDD file. So when that is done, you will head back into Blender, you're going to select the um, OBJ file you imported, go into the modifiers panel and add a mesh cache modifier. Then you're going to look for the file and place it in the file path. Um, when you do that, um, for my case, um, the OBJ file was inverted, so you're going to go into axis mapping and flip it on the Z axis. So right now, as you can see, um, the clothes simulation is following the character animation. So the next thing we're going to do is going to frame and change it from scene to custom. Then you go to the evaluation frame and impute your first frame. For this video, um, the character was in a T-pose so that it would match the character in the simulation software so i added extra 20 frames to so my first so i'm going to delete or minus that 20 frames so my first frame is going to be 20 and i'll add 20 to the end frame and mine is 670 and my last frame is going to be 690 they're going to keyframe that and uh, when i did this character when i big this character into i only had um the keyframes at odd numbers so i'll have to go into the first odd number which was one and the evaluation frame is going to be 21 then go to the last number which was 690 and the evaluation frame is going to be 691 So doing that, um, I'm going to select um, both keyframes 
and I'm going to bake them. Um, I'm going to now bake them into. I'm going to select Vidra King, but um, the problem is this doesn't actually bake the evaluation frame, so that is where I had the issue. So if anybody know a fix or how to do that so that the evaluation frame also be baked automatically, please let me know in the comments below. Um, so here now is where things get kind of hard. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the first keyframe and you keyframe it. You keyframe the evaluation frame. Then I go into the last one again and also keyframe the evaluation frame. Then I, what I normally do is that I set it to um, linear so that there won't be any arc or whatever. So it's just be a straight up animation. Then what I do normally is, so in all these keyframes, you just have it in mind that you are going to manually impute the keyframes. What I do is that I put my cursor on the evaluation frame and using my keyboard, I use the right arrow key. I move two frames. I press I on my keyboard. I move two frames, I press I on my keyboard, I move two frames, I press I on my keyboard, and that is how it goes to the end. So most times it's the stimulation might be up from the character. So you just manually adjust that and make sure it's closely matched a bit. Then when you're done with the whole animation, you just select the keyframes, then um, change it to constant interpolation, and you see that the clothes only move in tools like the animation and it's actually wonderful i was looking for a fix for this but i couldn't see anyway this is the result so do well to check out the main video and have a nice day